What is the Amazon BSR or Amazon bestseller rank? BSR stands for bestseller rank. And this is actually an amazing metric that Amazon provides anybody who browses their website or app so that you know what are the best selling products on Amazon. Pretty much no other selling platform has something like this available that allows anybody, whether they're sellers or buyers, to know at any given time what is the best selling products in a certain category. The best seller rank or BSR is calculated at the category and subcategory level. For example, if you were to click here on amazon.com into best sellers, you're going to go into a page where you can see the best selling products top 100 for any major category such as appliances, health and household, home and kitchen. But you could also go deeper into these categories into subcategories. Like I can go into the beauty and personal care and then actually go uh, into the gift set subcategory. And then I can see what are the top 100 BSR items that are selling. Now, BSR is calculated throughout the day. It's not just once a day. Every hour, you are going to see a different number there. So what a B, the BSR for a product is at 5 p.m. is going to be different than what you might see at 7 p.m. And that is how you can kind of calculate. And that's actually how Helium 10 and other tools are able to give estimations on sales without knowing the exact sales from the sellers. It's because how BSR fluctuates also represents how many products you are selling or this product is selling in comparison with the other products in the category and subcategory. Let's say that a product right now has a BSR of 100 and it's 2 p.m. right now. Basically what that means is I am the 100th best-selling product in this category or subcategory at this exact time. Now, what if at 3 p.m. my BSR goes to 200? Well, that means that now there are actually almost 200 products that sold better than me between 2 p.m. and 3 or 4 p.m. So again, BSR is changing throughout the day based on how your sales are doing compared to the other products in your category. There could be a situation where your sales actually goes up, but your BSR does not go down. And by the way, that's something you have to understand. The lower the BSR, the higher your sales are. The higher your BSR, your bestseller rank, the lower your sales are. So the reason why sellers want to pay attention to their BSR or bestseller rank is it gives you an idea about how well you're doing in your niche or your category. Maybe you get super excited that your sales are going up. Let's say that it's November and I'm looking at my sales and I'm averaging a uh, hundred sales a day and it was a bump up of maybe 20%. Maybe in October, I only sold 80 per day and I might be getting super excited because my sales went up from 80 to 100. But guess what? There are situations where maybe you shouldn't get so excited about that increase. Why? What if my BSR right now was 1,000, but my BSR last month was 500? In other words, a better BSR. What does that mean? That means that yes, my sales increased because I just said that it went from 80 to 100, but guess what? It could mean that actually, instead of just 100 sales like me, what I'm doing, maybe my competitors are doing 120 or 150. They went from 80 to 120 or even more. That's why their BSR is better than me. So it really helps you to understand how you're doing in comparison with the competition. On the flip side, uh, it could mean the opposite thing too sometimes. Let's say that you're really depressed because your sales went down from 100 uh, units daily and now you're only selling 50 units daily. Like, oh my goodness, the sky is falling. I'm going to be bankrupt soon on Amazon. This is terrible. But again, look at your BSR. What if your BSR stayed the same? You were 1,000 last month and now you're 1,000. Even though your sales got cut in half, I would say don't even worry about it because guess what? It's probably happening at the category level. If your BSR stays about the same, yet your sales go down, it means that everybody's sales went down. This is again why the BSR or bestseller rank is such a valuable metric. Now, how can you see, other than just seeing what's in the top 100 on these top bestseller lists, how can you see what the BSR is 
for any product on Amazon? Well, take a look here. I'm on one of my coffin shelf listings. If I scroll all the way down, there's usually an information widget here that Amazon provides called product information. Just scroll down and then you will be able to see best sellers rank. And then usually it's going to show you what your best seller rank is in the parent category. That's uh, things like home and kitchen, beauty, uh, health and household, etc. cetera. Uh, the BSR for this product is 262,720. That means today there's actually 262, 719 products selling a little bit more than my coffin shelf in this category. And then also in my subcategory of floating shelves, I can see that my BSR is 771. Now, if you have the free Helium 10 Chrome extension app that you can download at helium10.com forward slash extension in the Google Chrome store, I get these extra little widgets where I can actually see that BSR at the top. But not only that, I can click this graph or just scroll down here and see this graph history. And now I can see throughout the day or throughout the week how BSR has changed over time. Like, for example, let me uh, go out to a one year view. All right. Uh, as we saw right now, my BSR was around the 200 thousands. Right. Uh, as I can see here throughout the history, looking at April and May and, and June, it is fluctuating between like 200 and 400 thousand. But then maybe last year, it looks like right here um, in the beginning of the year, in January, I had a really nice BSR of around 100,000. And toward in the uh, holiday times, it, it went back to 200,000. So on any product using the Helium 10 Chrome extension, you can go back and look at what the BSR history was. Now, something interesting about how BSR is calculated is it's at the parent level if there's a variation. Well. If, what does that mean? If I have a product that is just this exact product, and this is the only product, there's no variations, no colors, no quantities, the BSR refers to the sales of this product here. But let's say like this coffin shelf, as you can see, I have a pink coffin shelf, a purple one, and a black one. So the BSR is actually representative of all of these different colors, the black, purple, and the pink, all of their sales combined. So theoretically, I could have maybe one coffin shelf out there, a competitor that only has a black one, and maybe they're selling 50, right? But then if I have my coffin shelf variation listing here, and I'm selling 50 each of each color, and I have three of them, my sales is 150 per day, right? Well, what's whose BSR is going to be the same? My reset. How is the BSR going to be calculated? My black coffin shelf is doing 50. Their black coffin shelf is doing 50 my BSR is actually going to be much lower than the competitors because it's actually combining all three sales, 150 sales a day instead of just the 50. So if you're ever wondering, oh, why uh, is this product ha has such a low BSR, a good BSR compared to this other one that seems to be selling a similar amount? It's because BSR is calculating all of the variations and in some categories, there's a lot of variations, like in the bedding category, you've got a king size and queen size and twin size, and then each of those has maybe 10 different colors. You could have maybe 50 or 60 products that are in one variation family, and so the BSR is gonna be the same for all of those child items or variation units. So again, if you are an Amazon customer, an Amazon Prime member, be happy that you could see the BSR and you know exactly which products are selling the best and worst on Amazon. If you're an Amazon seller, thank Amazon for making such a cool data point available where they are showing, unlike other platforms out there, exactly which products are selling the best so that you can check out from your competitors, uh, especially if they're in your niche, who's doing better than you throughout a day, throughout a week, or even throughout the whole entire year. So make sure to leverage the BSR that Amazon gives and then also the BSR data points inside of Helium 10, like in our Chrome extension, so that you can understand how well products are selling on Amazon.